welcome back to another Taylor Louise video. I am here with you today to plan out my June budget. June is a month where my fortnightly paychecks come three times. So it is a three paycheck month for me. And so I really want to plan out kind of the whole month from the beginning for once, just so that I can really see what kind of progress I can make in June. There are some other changes happening in June. Uh, for instance, so far I have been budgeting about $130 per fortnight towards my car fund and that is going to get a major major boost because some big things need to happen within the next six months to do with upgrading my car. It is a month where I get stricter on some things. It is a month where I kind of save my sinking funds to the end of the month and it is a month where hopefully more money is saved than ever before. So I really want to plan this with you and I want you to come along and join me. Sorry if my glasses are a little bit dark. I actually tried to film this video like two hours ago and the neighbor has been mowing the lawn so it has been way too loud it was on my instagram if you saw it um but i've actually been sitting outside and reading a book and cuddling my dog so we are going to get straight into it before we do go down below smash the subscribe button click like on this video click the bell so you get notified every single time I upload. I hope you enjoy. My Instagram is at underscore Taylor Louise. Check that out as well and enjoy. Hey guys, welcome to the paycheck planning portion of this video. So I use the budget mum sheets for this and I use the budget mum method of looking at in a month where are things due and nominating a salary or a paycheck for each bill or expense. So I have already filmed this. It was like a 30 minute clip of me getting confused every five seconds because I have never had to do a whole month before and even leading into the following month. So very far in advance for me and I kept on getting myself confused with the numbers. So we're gonna have another crack at it, but but the idea is that I am actually having a salary three times in the month of June. My salary of 1972 is coming in on the 1st, again on the 15th, and again on the 29th. So the idea of this is that hopefully my th the third time I get paid, I don't have to pay many bills out of this and I will have a lot more to throw into sinking funds and bigger goals. However, I do have some goals and some things that I am currently saving towards that are going up this month and the next paycheck, which is coming in on Tuesday we are now Sunday so I am going to do that anyway because if I can do that three times this month that will mean that $990 will go towards this one particular savings goal in the month of June and that is very exciting and that's not even considering the fact that I do have other paychecks so I get paid here from my second job here from my second job and here from my second job I don't know how much or if I'm gonna earn anything at all in the month but that is when I'll get my paychecks if I do and then I also have my third income and I don't know again how much I'm gonna earn in the month of May there and I don't actually budget it until the end of the month. Till the month is over, that's when I actually consider this and I budget it out. So that's okay. We have an understanding that there is more money that could come in, but we are working with this money here. The July calendar is also relevant because if I want to use most of this salary to save with, or I want to use a lot of this salary to play with, I need to then consider the expenses that I'm going to have between when I would normally get paid here and my next paycheck on the 13th. So I'm not going to look through all of July. I'm not planning that far in advance, but it is the idea that I need to understand what money I need to have put aside for those things. Because I can't just be like, oh, cool. Well, these two paychecks will get me to the end of the month because then I've got 13 days of what money. So I do need to look forward to be able to consider how I can use all of my June money because I'm probably going to have to even save some of this for here. But realistically, what I think is going to happen is that I'm going to have to use some of this for some bills here. But we will wait and see. So I want to get started and I need to stop moving this out of the field of view. <laughs> but as you know, I normally use purple and blue. Purple means that it is a bill. Blue means that it is an expense that is known. So if I already know that I'm going to have an expense coming out on a certain day, I'll still pop it on this calendar just so that I know that it's coming and I can prepare for that. Um, purple is an actual bill though. So every time I get paid on the Thursday, I have a spaceship investment money. It's just $5 a fortnight, but that comes out of my account automatically. So I will consider that in here. I do have a link down below. If you're interested in investing through spaceship, there is a link down below and a code. And if you use my code, you get 
a free five dollars in the account and i get a free five dollars so if you're going to do it you might as well use my code and benefit both of us then we have nrma on the first we have my dietitian is also fortnightly that payment is fortnightly falls on a saturday and again looking into july there won't be another one until i have to get paid again so that's fine then we have things like my vodafone a strange bill but a qct payment that's once a year this one but like i don't currently have a sinking fund prepared for this i'm actually going to just round it up to 95 just to make life easier and i'm going to separate it into 50 and 45 and then i also have audible and is that everything just one more in here and that's an rma it's always my car insurance is always on the first of the month all right so that is all of the purple. So that is all of the bills. No, it's not. I lied. I also have my YouTube premium and I have my iCloud. I thought it looked a bit empty and the iCloud has just jumped up to $5 a month. So that now is all of my purple bills. So I will then move on to my other expenses. These are just like known expenses. So if we work through the month, we have netball every Monday and Tuesday. So I can literally just write netball $15 every Monday and Tuesday. This replaces like a gym membership. Yeah, yeah. And this is cash and I don't always get my cash out on the day I get paid. So I will need to prepare for that prior. Other than netball, I also get my lashes done every fortnight. That's a $65 expense. And then I've been seeing my physio fortnightly as well. Okie dokie, I think that might be all. So pretty much netball lashes and physio are in blue and then all my other bills that will be coming out are in purple. So now we move on to actually nominating them. Now before I nominate what paycheck is going, what salary is going to use it, it's important to note that this was my color from last month from May and I have already prepared for some of them. So my NRMA money is sitting in my account waiting to come out. The netball money for Tuesday coming has also already Already been prepared for and also $50 of this QCT payment has also been prepared for so that can go away now that is all that it is contributed then what we have is this salary here and we've got to decide what bills this salary is going to contribute towards so we might go spaceship dietitian uh, I'm just gonna do bills first maybe we'll go spaceship again and I know that I get paid here but that's not much compared to how heavy this side of the month is. So what I'll do is it will also pay for Vodafone, maybe also the dietitian again. That way all of those bills will be out of the way when I get paid. And then it'll pretty much cover all of these blue bills working backwards. From there, I might just skip that netball for a second. Yeah, that looks good. And then what I'll do, I might even split this one up. So I'll split this into 10 and five and this paycheck can contribute 10 of that. And then we have my next paycheck. Do the rest. At least on this page. Then we switch over to July. I don't want to use this for much, but maybe I can go a second paycheck. We'll pay for these ones. And then my third one is going to have to pay for a couple. It's just too much otherwise. And I haven't factored in all my cash envelopes yet. It's like three bills, $45 of other. It's not a lot to have to come out of my salary, especially when you, we look at those colors and how they're spread. There's not a lot coming out of my third salary. So I should still have a lot of money aside at the end. So if we work out then in terms of bills and other, what each of these paychecks is contributing. So if I go one, two, three, one, two, three, then I should be able to add it up. So my first paycheck is contributing to bills, five, 80, five, 90, 80, 260, and to other 65, 15, 15, 15, 15, 10, 65, 200. Oh, no, it's the wrong spot. Whoops, 200. And then we have my next salary. It's going to contribute towards bills 45, 15, 5, 20. That didn't look right. And I'm missing a bill up here. Oh, that's the wrong color. I thought that didn't look right. And it turns out it's missing a bill. 
missing my Stan subscription and that's going to come out of this paycheck as well. So then if I add that together now, we have 19 and 45 and 15 and 5, 20, 104. That sounds more like it. And for my other 5, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. 65 and 15 and 15. 175. And then paycheck three, shouldn't have to do too much. 5, 80 and 70. Just 155 towards bills. It's actually more than this paycheck's paying towards bills. Isn't that weird? Anyway, and then other is 15. 15 and 15, I could have done in my head, it's 45. See, that's where the difference is made up. All right, so that is kind of the bit, a bit of the breakdown for my paycheck plan before I move into actually budgeting the individual paycheck. So if I move these off to the side. Okay, so I've just switched it around so that you can see the whole paycheck bill tracker because we're gonna budget for the paycheck that is coming on the first and that's gonna last until the 15th. So we know that the salary is 1972, 1972. And then we look at what are the actual bills. So we've got Spaceship, which is on the third, and that's just $5. Then we'll have Dietitian or Health Fund, same day of fifth on the 80, uh, which is $80. Then we have Spaceship again, which is on the 17th. That's the $5. Then we have Vodafone, which will sit in there waiting for the 18th, and that will be $90. And then we'll do Dietitian one more time. It's just easier to kind of like smash things out at the start of the month, because then the rest of the month is easy. So that's about $80. And so they were all of the purple bills. So if we look at this then, that should equal the 260. So we have 5 plus 80 plus 5 plus 90 plus 80, 260. Yep. So that equals the 260. Now I don't use this actual column, so I can just use it for my checking off. Then what we have is the other. So the other kind of fall in some of these envelopes. So I guess we'll just do my normal other the bills first. So then IOG, I'll move that aside. I always give 300. House is 250. This is every paycheck. So this doesn't matter how many times a month I get it. It's just every paycheck. I'm bumping this one up from 130 to 330. It's an extra $200 a fortnight going into there because I really do need a new car. Yearly bills is getting 25. Cushion is getting 25. It's kind of like a buffer. So how much of day. So this 300 plus 250 plus 330 plus 25 plus 25 because those will be like every fortnight. So that's $930 every fortnight going towards those. And then we have my cash envelopes. So food is always one of my top cash envelopes. I normally budget 300, but I'm trying something new. I'm trying to separate out my like grocery budget and eating out budget. So it's always 300 total for food slash groceries. So I'm just separating those two categories to see how we go with that. Fuel is always 50. House is just gonna get bumped up 20. Beauty. Now, something that's relevant here is that beauty falls under some of these categories as well. So for beauty, I usually pay for my nails and my lashes. So if we look at this, we've got 65 and 65 that's already been kind of budgeted for just to keep our numbers awareness. And then we might add in another 40 on top of that for, for nails. So if we go 65 plus 65 plus 40, we have 170. Wow, we, there should be some rollover at the end of the month if I'm doing that. So 170 total there. And then we have fitness. And again, netball is already factored into some of this here. So I've got one, two, three, four. What even does that? 15, 15, 15, and then it's actually 10. So 55. So we're putting 55 in fitness and I'm just going to put here 55. So I know that that was like pre-calculated on here. And then we have miscellaneous. Physio normally comes out of this. So there's 15 here, but I might put an additional 50 in. So that'll be 65. And then Tay is always a hundred. It's $50 a week. Okay. So let's start adding some of these things up. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to go 65 plus 65 plus 55 plus 15. That equals the 200 in other. So that's correct. So that equals what I've already budgeted 
in the other category for that paycheck. And then there's more. So 1972. So we've got 260 plus 930 coming out of here. 1190. We have 1972 minus answer. 782 left. And then 782. 200 plus 100 plus 50 plus 20 plus 170 plus 55 plus 65 plus 100. 760. So 782 minus answer. 22 dollars left over and this was the risk factor so i'm not gonna have room to put much in my sinking funds and all of that is going to my dental fund because like you know this is upcoming this is my priority because this is coming oh i haven't actually put it on this time so i have my dentist appointment here and sorry i filmed this part earlier and then i forgot that it wasn't useful anymore but i have my dentist appointment here i don't know how much it's going to cost i have a feeling it's gonna be like 400 and something dollars i currently have 275 in my sinking fund so pretty much any spare money is going into that here this is why i saved my salary here is paying some of these bills because I essentially need to make sure that I have enough money in this salary to cover that. So let's actually have a look. So if we've got the 80 and the 70 and the 5, there should have been another 155 that paycheck two would have paid towards my bills. Let's just factor that straight in. I'm going to say that paycheck two is going to put towards dentist. It's going to put at least 155 towards dentist. That's non-negotiable. But now if we look at this, we should have 22 left over, 22 going towards there, 22 total left over zero. Let's see. So we have 1972 minus 1190 minus 760 minus 22, zero based budget. So some notable mentions are that I'm paying some of these things ahead. That's why there's not much room left over here. But also this car payment has been bumped up significantly. So that's another like $200 that I probably would have had previously to play with over here, but it's just going towards my number one priority right now. So if that's June paycheck one, I wonder what June paycheck two will look like and I really feel like to do it to fully understand how we're going to best use this month we need to do that now let's go if it changes it changes but paycheck two is coming in on the 15th of the 6th and needs to last until the say the 29th kind of not kind of the 13th of July but we'll keep it as that salary 1972 1972 and what bills have we said she is going to pay so if we go so it's gonna pay stan on the 19th at 19 dollars qct it's gonna put uh, 22nd i need to pay that manually but it's gonna put 45 dollars towards that we have youtube premium at the 24th at 15 dollars as well as icloud five dollars on the 24th and audible audible have been messing up my payment for the last couple of months and it's actually worked out in my favor because they've been refunding me every time so let's hope they get it right or or not let's hope they get it wrong so i get my refund again that it'd also be fine is that all of the bills it's paying maybe it is 19 plus 45 15 5 and 20 that comes to the 104 yeah that's what we were expecting 104 then we have my usuals Minus 104 minus 930. So I should have 938 left over, but I made a mistake because I was going to just add up 104 plus 930 equals 1034. And now I'll just double check. Yeah, cool. So it's 938 left over. This is a better month, a better paycheck than the previous one. So then we currently know that there are some things in here as well that my second paycheck is paying for in terms of netball, physio and lashes. But food and eating out, at this point, the plan is to keep that the same. Fuel, house, I'll chuck another 20 in this week. Beauty, and this is where it's relevant to look at my calendars. So beauty, not there. 
there, 65. So we know that 65 has been kind of pre-budgeted towards beauty. And what I might do is put another 40 in as well. So 105, because if there's any rollover at the end of the month, it'll just join the sinking fund. So 105 in there. Then we've got fitness and we've got five, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. 30, 95. So 95 there, 95 there. And then we have miscellaneous. I think this is the same. It's got one physio appointment. I'm going to put 65 because I want to put a 50 in as well. And then Tay is 100. So let's see 200, 100, 50, 20, 105, 95, 65, 100, 735, 938 minus answer, 203. So before we move on from that, what I need to do is 65 plus 95 plus 15 should equal 175. Perfect. That is exactly what I had planned to budget for other in there. There's 203 left over as we move on. Now I did commit here to dentist putting 155 in. So dentist 155. So now if we consider that I've got 275 in the dentist already, we added 22 for the first paycheck and 155 from the second paycheck it takes me to 452. I really wanted to get to about 500 because it's going to be 400 and something and I don't want my dental medical envelope to be empty anyway. What's 500 minus answer? 48. How much is going to be left over here? So if we had 203 minus 155, 48 exactly. So to, if I put the rest of that into dentist again, I think that zeroes out my budget and takes me to $500 in there. So there's 203 left, 155 plus 48, 203. I'm doing it. So 203 left over, zero. Let's confirm. We have 1972 minus 1034 minus 735 minus 203. Zero based budget. That is the goal. Whoop, whoop. Now I can go to the dentist. Like I said, these, I always over budget in these. And this is why I don't ever need to do the actual column because I over budget in them and then I have to stick to them. I can't go over. If I go over, I eat out of one of the other budgets and that's it, so be it. But coming back in and doing an actual doesn't, I don't think that really helps me much at all. I wonder then, so if that's paycheck one and that's paycheck two, how much more money will we have to play with with paycheck three? Okay, so the reason why I'm going to budget for paycheck three, even though that's a month away from today's date, is because in June, I have to work hard, pay these bills to not save any money for my sinking funds and almost not feel like there's any progress. But if I do this, this is the reward week. So I want to have this paycheck tracker filled out. I want to see what it is that I'm working towards. If I don't achieve it, that's okay. I'll check in with you. I'll update you about what's actually happening. If things pop up, that's completely fine. But for now, what I want to see is what I'm planning to do. I really want to have a full understanding of that. So 29th of the 6th, and that'll take me through to the 13th of June. My salary will be the same. It will be 1972. Again, I earn the same amount every week until I get a pay rise. But that's what that will be for now. So I can see on here exactly what it is that I've already budgeted to pay for. So I have spaceship on the first and that is five dollars i have nrma my car insurance on the first for seventy dollars my dietitian slash my health fund payment is eighty dollars and that is on the earth that is it 155 i can do that mental math in my head and that checks out for what i plan to pay for bills out of my third paycheck so then we move on to what I always do. Doesn't matter that this is a third paycheck. I'm still doing this. These payments are regardless. That bump up to 3.30 is happening regardless. That's what I mean. 3.30 is, I used to put 130 in every fortnight. So if I put 130 in every fortnight, that comes to $390. I'm putting 3.30 in every fortnight. The end of June, it's $990. Wow, 600 extra dollars going into that fund. That makes me feel real good. <laughs> I'm also going to put in my yearly bills and my cushion as well. The same amount. It's $25 each. It's $50 total. And it's going to come out to the same amount as my other ones, which is $9.30. That's Fine. Then we move on. And this is the part that I don't really understand about why people say it's a benefit because I still need to do my cash envelopes. It's still another two weeks that I'm going to be eating and I'm going to be doing things. So I still need my food budget of 200, my eating out of 100. Still going to need my fuel 
Ooh, a 50. House. We'll bump up again. A 20. Beauty this time around. Probably doesn't need to receive anything. Oh, wait. No, nope. on here. This is why I have this. We see. We can see this here. So $65 is going to get from Beauty, but that's pre budgeted. No extra this time around because I bumped it up in the other two. And then I go to fitness, and that one is just going to get. Hmm, interesting. That's already been pre budgeted for. Hasn't it? I'm nervous now. How much did I do last time? Fitness. 65. Yes. Those ones have all been paid for, but I messed up. Can we see how? On oh, no, a 95. 15, 15 is 30. 15, 15 is 60. 15, 15 is 90. And 5. Okay. So I just have two to pay for out of this. So that will be 30. And that's pre budgeted. And then we have miscellaneous. Do we have physio? Yeah, we do. 15. And that is 65 and hey we'll get its usual 100 now this is when we check this off oh, that was the last paycheck and it says only 45 going to other here so i've made a mistake and it's this one here because i'm just counting the yellow now so i don't need to put in any money into my beauty category category at all thought it seemed a bit odd but i mean my first paycheck of the month i put in 170 so it's probably due for nothing this time so then that works out to be the 45 on there so that's perfect and that's what we're working with so far so let's see so 155 plus 930 1085 1972 minus 1085 887 answer minus oh 200 100 50 20 30 65 100 5 6 5 8 8 7 3 22 left over and now we get to play finally we get to play over here so travel normally i would just put a little bit in we've got 322 to play with so there's three paychecks let's say we put in ten dollars per paycheck thirty dollars dental i think you've had enough fun <laughs> emergency i have been saying that i like to add 15 uh, sorry five dollars per paycheck so i'll add 15 so that catches up gifts is gonna get maybe ten dollars per paycheck so 30 boo uh i could do 30 but we might bump it up to 50 august is when his uh, birthday is and then i'll have christmas not too many months after that so bernie however the dog can just have ten dollars per paycheck technology i'll give that one 50 beauty i was gonna give this one 50 as well and i might come back to it because i've got a feeling that i'm gonna have some rollover but we'll go boss up actually you know what what? I was gonna give boss up 30 and I was gonna give beauty 50 but I might switch them around so I'll give beauty 30 and I'll give boss up 50 because I really want a new binder on those stickers and things that I talked about in my last video and then Christmas is getting just 30 and then I've run out of room but I also want to do I don't have extra debt so we might just go sinking funds continued tax man any leftovers so what is it 322 so 30 plus 15 plus 30 plus 50 plus 30 plus 50 plus 30 plus 50 plus 30. 315, 322 minus 315, $7. So seven dollars left over. I'll put seven dollars in my tax man fund. Actually, this is a cash fund. But I, that two dollars will end up in that's a kit. Seven dollars. Total seven dollars left over zero. Let's confirm. 1972 minus 1085 minus 565 minus 315 minus seven is a zero-based budget. So this this is what I'm working towards. That might be the goal, but there are some things that I really want to point out that are happening in the month of June. So let me point them out to you. In the month of June, I have car. My car fund is getting $990. Previously, it would have gotten $390. So there's an extra $600 going into my car fund. That is one thing that Three Paychecks is allowing me to do here. Another thing that's happening is I'm going to the dentist. This is the last thing that I have to do for my teeth. It's actually something that costs quite a lot of money, but my health fund is helping me out with most of it. But I'm managing to save $225 towards my dentist fund. I think that's a, an accomplishment worth mentioning here. I'm still doing all of my other regular savings and I'm also still doing all of my regular spending. I'm not missing out in the beauty category. I'm not missing out in the eating out category. Not missing out on anything. Miscellaneous will hopefully have some rollover. Tay will hopefully have some rollover and I will be introducing some extra sinking funds for that rollover money 
in later videos. Christmas, that's my fund, is finally underway. Gifts is progressing well. Boo will be nice and stocked by the end of June, ready for his birthday. And I have the room to play in Boss Up to get myself the pretty binders and pretty things that make this fun. So this has been a really long video, but I just wanted to show you kind of my overview of June. I know I've done individual paycheck breakdowns, but that's really just to show this progress, how it changes. So I have them all under here. And what we see here is that when we go heavy on the bills, we end up with not much left to play with. But as we progress, suddenly we have a little bit more to play with and suddenly we have even more to play with. So the more you bunker down in that first paycheck of the month and pay off as many bills as you can for that month, the more you have to play with by the end from $22 to $322. That $300 is then able to bump, bump up the things that I'm striving for and working towards. I don't know. I think it makes me really proud. It also really motivates me when I'm doing my budget and when I'm spending money to know what the plan is for the future. And even if it is just the future a month from now. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this segment and I'll see you in my outro. There we have it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. That is my plan for the month of June. Some very, very exciting things happening. And I hope that you stay with me to watch my check-ins and see how this month actually turns out, if it turns out the way that I planned or not. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Go smash the like button, go click the subscribe button and the bell. You know all of the things. Comment down below. I respond to every single comment. I appreciate you being here watching this video if you've watched this far. Oh my goodness, can the neighbors get a life? Okay, I'm gonna make this super quick before the noises start up again. But I just wanna say once more that I really, really appreciate you being here. Come join the next video that will be coming in a few days. I'll see you next time. Bye. But what I didn't know is that a stage would be my gauge. Cause when you only see your beauty in the uppers, you can't love yourself on this island. Yeah, I wanna see my words when no one